The Democratic National Convention kickoff traditionally signals the race to Election Day with the formal nomination of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris on the Democratic ticket. And that's about the only thing that will be the same from years past. ABC's Andrew Dimbert explains. It's unlike any other Democratic National Convention in history. I think it'll be different than what people are used to seeing, but I think also exciting. The DNC kicking off today virtually. The coronavirus pandemic forcing both political parties to rethink their star-studded national conventions. This week, the Democrats producing a high-tech live stream of their events, bringing political luminaries from around the country to speak and entertain an online audience. Our conventions are how our country hears from us and participates in the democratic process as we carry on the path towards November and the election. The digital DNC featuring a who's who of party leaders, including Senator Bernie Sanders and even former Ohio governor and conservative Republican John Kasich. Democrats have also unveiled three Republican women who will be speaking and endorsing Joe Biden for president. Trump, meanwhile, on his way to swing states, Minnesota and Wisconsin, slamming Democrats for pre-recording some speeches. You want to go to a snooze? You know, when you hear it, when you hear a speech is taped, it's like there's nothing very exciting about it, right? A new ABC News Washington Post poll shows Joe Biden holding a 12-point lead over President Trump among registered voters, with enthusiasm for his campaign up 20 points since Biden picked Senator Kamala Harris as his running mate. And as Trump prepares for counter-programming this week in an effort to steal some spotlight from his political rival, the president offering one last parting shot at the Democrats. Remember, I beat them all last time. And as the convention gets underway, the debate on how to vote safely in the upcoming election is sure to be a major talking point amongst DNC leaders. The Postmaster General, a Trump ally and major GOP donor, has agreed to testify next week on cutting back U.S. Postal Services. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, Washington.